Hello you guys! Welcome to the first official class that I will be starting in this little series about public speaking. I'm super excited for it. This first class is going to be all about preparing for your speech. Just to give you a little background, I have been speaking since about 2008. I didn't start professionally doing it, meaning being paid to speak until a couple years after that. But since then, I started out speaking really locally, uh, and then that sort of grew to around Texas, and then that grew to around the United States, and then that grew to all around the world. I have been completely self-taught. I've never taken a class or done anything like that. I mean, I took a public speaking class in college, but that was way after I had already been speaking. Uh, the way that I learned was by trial and error and watching videos of speakers on YouTube and then going out actually to get hands-on experience and really try every single thing that I could to see which style of speaking worked for me. Meaning, do I hold an outline? Do I have a PowerPoint? Do I show a video? We're gonna get into that later, but for now, we're gonna start with the beginning steps. And when I prepare for a speech, I always ask myself three questions. Number one, what message are you telling? Number two, who is your demographic? And number three, how long are you speaking for? Once you have your answers to those questions, you'll have more of a foundation to start shaping your outline for your speech because you'll know what you want to say, who you're saying it to, and how long you'll have to say it. In my opinion, your outline is the most important thing to have, uh, no matter how you present it, whether you're uh, at a podium or walking around, no matter what you do inside that speech, having your outline to be sort of your map throughout the, the whole thing is what I think is really, really important. And these outlines can be as detailed or as simplistic as you want. Uh, for me, what I've realized is having a very detailed outline really makes me overthink what, I, what I'm telling myself I'm supposed to say. So if I have different points that I want to make sure to get across, if I'm thinking, well, I need to remember like a specific little detail and I have to say this, this, and this, if I have all of that written in my outline, it's very easy for me to go on stage and then just sort of get it all jumbled up in my head. I think that the more your outline is straight and to the point, the more it'll help you when you're presenting. When it comes to building my outline, I usually have a set skeleton that I usually use for it and that consists of three things. The first part is going to be your introduction. Pretty simple. After your introduction, whether it's telling the audience about yourself or telling them a bit about what you're going to be speaking to, to them about, um, the second thing is having three bullet points for your main topic. So that can include whatever you want it to be. Ask yourself, what do I want to get across in this speech? Pick three main things and put those in the second part of the outline. The last part of the skeleton that I use for my outline is more of a question. How can you leave the audience feeling like they are the hero? There's a difference between going up and presenting your speech and talking to the audience or talking at the audience and them not being able to take away whatever message or information it is that you want to get across. In order for you to make this experience beneficial to not only you, but to the audience as well. Ask yourself, how can I make the audience feel like the hero at the end of my speech? So that usually comes in the form of giving them a plan of action. So for example, I can give you a speech about myself. Hi, I'm Lizzie. I'm an anti-bullying activist. Here are three things that I think you can do to stop bullying and by the end of the speech it might be a challenge. I challenge you to now walk out these doors and reach out to one person that you might know who's being bullied or I challenge you to apologize to someone who you might not have been aware that you're bullying. 
So the audience is not only hearing the information straight from you, but they're also leaving and now they're taking action to support whatever cause it is that you are talking to them about. I'm planning on keeping these videos really short and simple because if I give you way too much information, then it's going to be a whole lot to take in. Um, but I feel like what I'm sharing is very, very helpful and a lot of the basic tips that I have used in my own personal speaking career and things that I still do use today. At the end of every video, I do want to give you a little bit of notes or tips or tricks or little things that you can try while in the process of getting ready for your speech. There are a lot of different opinions about this, but of course I will just share my experience. I have been asked, what if I, I can't think of an outline, what am I going to do about my speech? I'm so paranoid just going up with just an outline. Can I write out my entire speech word for word? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can do that. For the very first few speeches that I ever did, I wrote out my entire speech and I put it in a folder with Brad's and I took that folder up and when I was in front of the audience, I just sort of looked down and read from the script basically the entire time. And number one, I got lost a lot and that was awkward. Uh, number two, I really disconnected with the audience every time I was looking down and trying to find my place. So yes, you can do that, but I think a way that might work is if before you do your outline, you're able to sit down, whether you handwrite it or write it on a computer or voice record it, whatever you want to do, write out everything you want to say. Pretend you're speaking to your audience in person. Once you do that, you'll have a better understanding and idea of what you really felt proud of that you wanted to make sure to include in your speech. So now you have all of this information that you can now pick apart three specific points that you really want to get across and take it from, take it from the full speech that you wrote out, but you're not taking it on the stage to have to look down and read from. I look at speeches like conversations. I always feel a little bit weird when I go up on stage and, and I feel like I'm lecturing or telling people, you know, this is bad, this is good, now you do something to fix it. Instead, I look at my audience no matter what the size is and I tell myself, pretend you're talking to your best friend. And to be honest, that's exactly what I did with my TED talk. I went up there, I had a speech in mind. Mind you, this was not one of my first speeches. I had been speaking for a long time before this, but I went up there and I threw out my plan and I said, take a deep breath, pretend you're talking to your best friend. And so I think for any speech, keeping that in mind is something that I think will help you feel a lot more comfortable, a lot more at ease. In the next video, I have some, some really, really good tips about um, how to help your anxiety or stage fright when you're actually on the stage. Uh, if you're still having trouble writing out your outline or answering those first three questions that I told you about, you can also ask yourself, where do I want to start? What message do I want to get across? And how do I want them to leave? Something that has really, really helped me when I go on stage is preparation and knowing that I really took the time to sit down and think out whatever it is I'm speaking about, really understanding what message I really, really want to get across and really understanding how do I want to feel and how do I want the audience to feel when I'm done. And again, this applies to any speech topic, any age, any situation. There are so many different ways that you can really fully prepare. And once you do that, it's going to be time to figure out how and what I'm going to do to present my speech. So that'll be in the next video we're going to do. Um, but that's about it. I also wanted to remind you guys that I am still currently a public speaker. So if you have a school or an organization or a company, I have spoken at every single place you can think of 
under the sun, I think. Um, I am currently getting my schedule ready for 2020, so I will put uh, an email address in the description box below if you have a serious inquiry about having me go out to speak to you, because I would love to do it, because it's my passion, if you can't tell. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any question about preparing for your speech, make sure to put it in the comments below, and I promise I will go and do my best effort to answer as many of them as I can. And don't forget, our next class video will be about presenting your speech. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.